Welcome to the Tomorrow Leader Show, where leaders are reborn. Thank you for watching our previous shows. Thank you for subscribing. We ask you to keep watching and subscribing for more. Over the weeks, we have hosted different student leaders from Mount Kenya University, Greater University. We take you back to Mount Kenya University, the year 2017, 2018, where we bring you Julius Kaleli, former sports minister of Mount Kenya University, who studied diploma in business and information technology. We want to thank our partners, Mount Kenya University, for giving us an opportunity and a venue to host the show. Julius Muindi Kaleli, welcome to our show today. Thank you very much. Briefly tell us, who is Julius Kaleli? Uh, Julius Muindi Kaleli is a person who believes in leadership. Uh, he was born in 1994, June 6th, he attended a local primary school. Later on, he joined Goto Boys High School and eventually came to Mount Kenya University. Uh, I can tell you, Steve, since uh, primary and since my high school life, I've never been elected a leader. But when I came to university, I was enticed by the student leadership. Then I managed to ask for votes, and eventually I won the seat with a very big margin. Julius Kaleli. Yeah. Short and brief. Yeah. Sports minister. Why do you love sports, or what made you uh, decide to go for the seat of sports? Minister. Okay, since, since I was a small boy, I used to play all the games. When I was in primary school, when I was in the high school, I played all the games. But when I came to the university, I used to play handball alone because you cannot multitask when you are in a university. Then, the thing that pushed me to be a sports minister in Mount Kenya University. As you know, there, there, there before, people used to become the sports ministers, but that person didn't play any game. Mm -hmm. You are told that uh, as a player, you are the one who feels the pain when you are in that playing ground. Because a person who doesn't play, he or she can never know about the pain in the, in the ground, in the playing ground. But if you are one of the players, you know the pain and the problems that they pass through. So it can be easy for you to offer the best services for them. Thank you so much. What were your achievements as a sports minister at Mount Kenya University? As a sports minister, one of my biggest achievements, you know sports people must be fit. So, when I was a sports minister, I went to the management and convinced them that the sports people should be given the gym at a free choice. They should not pay anything. And as from that time, and I think up to date, every sports person in Mount Kenya University is entitled to attend the gym free of charge. Secondly, there are um, some teams, I think, they can even comment or they can even say. They had no say. Because you, you see sometimes, a team can be better, but if the captain is not vocal when you go to the meetings, the management, it's hard to know if that team is performing good. Like the football ladies of Mount Kenya University. Those ladies were very good ladies, but the management had not recognized then one day I went to the office of the Dean of Students and I told him, do you know we have a very good team in Mount Kenya University that can beat each and every other university? He told me, ah, I cannot believe, but I took him to the field. 
He just watched them. Then we started a plan whereby it was supported even by the chairman. Because every Wednesday, they had a, a game with the staff whereby we used to buy them milk, water, then we bring them to the field, they have refreshments. The same year, 2017 December, we attended some games to Nyeri, and it was the best team, up to the finals, unbeaten. And the, now it's when the dean came to me and told me that, truly, you have, you have made a team rise from nowhere. So you're proud of uh, making Mount Kenya University Sports fo uh, women's football team the best within the institution and among other institutions in Kenya? Okay, not even making the, 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 that team alone, but if you compare 2017, the national games, which are held every year at different universities, but for the national, for, for national games of the universities, Mount Kenya University, for the first time, overall it was number two. For the first time, because when I was doing the selection of the teams, I was not favoring a team because maybe you make a lot of noise, or maybe you are big, or maybe you are what. But we selected the teams that could give MKU the best credit ever. Oh, that is good. As a sportsman now, yeah. which game entices you? Which game do you feel makes you known to the people? Mm. Generally, when I was in high school, I was known because of uh, basketball and I was an athlete. So I used to run 400 meters. But when I came to the university, now the game which has made me known is the handball. Yeah, my focus is more on handball for the, let's say I'll play handball for the next two years because I'll have other issues to do. I'll not remain the same. Kaleli, as you see me play handball. As a sports person, one thing I aspire is transforming lives of Kenyans who have talents and who are good in playing any game, but they don't have the chances. I can tell you, from the people I knew when we were in high school, most of them, I've never met them play any game anywhere. Just because, and they, some of them were good more than me. But right now, I play for Mount Kenya University Club in the National League, but I don't meet anybody whom we were in the, in the same region when we were in high, our high school lives. Sometimes, like I give you an example to the ladies. Mm -hmm. When I was a sports minister, I could even call some parents to tell them, your, 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 your child will be attending some games to a place. Because some of the parents are scared. When you hear your, your, your child is going to the games, some of them don't want. So if you talk to the parents nicely, educate people about talents, it will take us far and it will be better. Rather than leaving those, if, if a child is denied to go for sports, and maybe the child had a talent. Yesterday I was watching KTN News. There is a lady who was called Shiko. She said even sometimes she uses the coach to convince her parents so that she can go for a game. But she's a very nice footballer. Just like we have talents, but we don't have people who can advise those who have those talents and what to do and what is the better way forward. So what, what gap do you think is in the sports ministry in the country at large? Because I know right now at your position you have been able to find out one or two things. Yeah, the gap which is there, is uh, you hear the, the, the government say we have given money for youth and sports. But what do we see? You have seen Kenyan teams being given walkover just because they have delayed for a game. 
just because they have delayed on their way or on their preparation. That is not a good idea. We need leadership that uh, supports talent. Like if it's about sports, if you, are, you, 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 are being, you have been awarded maybe to be a, a CS or whatever for sports, what have you, what position have you, what role have you played in the Kenyan sports? What do you know about sports? The, the only thing they can use is that if somebody played somewhere, he has been a leader in the, in the, in the, in the field of sports, that is the better person to choose to go and represent those people because he or she has passed the same pain that these people are passing. You must be a teacher for you to become an head teacher or a principal. So if you don't play, what, what can you advise people on sports if you have never played anything, if you don't have any certificate on games? Kenya, Kenya has, good, has very good talent because if you look at all the teams, we have, we have people who represent us nationally. You look at the football team, you look at the rugby teams, you look at the handball teams, every game volleyball teams, we have good teams. But what about the management? If the management will be good, the teams will prosper, definitely. Because we have talents. So what you are advocating for is investment in our Kenyan teams? Yeah. Okay. In the sports fraternity, who inspires you? Me, I like, I, I love Cristiano Ronaldo. Because that guy is very committed. He, has, he doesn't go to the field to cut work. He goes there for a business. And that's why he achieves his targets. And as a leader, as a youth leader, maybe in sports in the days to come, yeah. which other leader inspires you? Me, the leader I aspire is a one senator from Makueni County. But not that just because he's from Makueni, but just because of how he argues, and how open he is, and how truth he speaks, and the ideas he gives, and how sober he is, he, he is always. Okay, the world? The world. Uh, the world, I, I look, you know I love the Tanzanian president, Magufuli, mm -hmm. because he speaks his mind, and he keeps on trying on things which are not possible, but eventually you see them being possible. And the message that I can leave for the upcoming sports ladies and men is that uh, let them be active, let them train, because if you are a sports person, you must train for you to keep fit, and let them have a goal to achieve in the sports fraternity. It may be their time. Let nobody limit you, be yourself, and just organize yourself. Then try to achieve your goals, no matter how hard the way is, and you will make it. Thank you so much, Julius Muindi Kaleli, for joining us on our show, The Tomorrow Leader, where leaders are reborn uh, as one great of all times, Kipchoge once said that no human is limited. We look upon having a better sports fraternity in this country. We look upon the likes of Julius uh, Kaleli to inspire other upcoming uh, sportsmen and women and give them a better platform for sports in this country. We look upon better tomorrow. We want to thank you for watching. We want to thank you for joining us as we ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sautikweli Media, like our Facebook page, Sautikweli Media, for more, as we look upon hosting more and more leaders of tomorrow. We want to thank once again Mount Kenya University for being part of us. Thank you so much. We look forward for more. I have been your host, Stephen Malala Opanda.